Well, hi ho folks and welcome back uh, to World of Warcraft, the battle for Azeroth. And we've got our gnome here, Trandius, and uh, he's our gnome warrior here. And uh, yeah, so we're going to head on in. And uh, again, it's all about the quests here. Uh, we're level 13, and we've got, real quick here, rundown. Fallout cover rough copper vests that we made, um, some inertial bracers, the very lightsaber, which is a, <laughs> a, a lightsaber basically, um, a belt or the friction gloves, belt of static equilibrium, uh, recruit pants, and recruit boots. So as we go along, we'll be able to hopefully find some more copper and then make some more equipment or you know upgrade in, in that in that uh, regard. So. We're here in Karanos, and let's uh, go on for some more quest. The Cataclysm has thrown the balance of power and Dunmoreau into question, Trandius. Without warning, a wave of trogs emerged from caves near uh, Nomergon and overran the Frost Main Trolls. Trolls have been migrating east ever since. It's always been a Frost Main presence up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest, but with the migration, the trolls now surround us. We can't allow the trolls to use their position to their advantage. While my men hold the line in the east, strike against Shimmer Ridge, kill f uh, five Frostmane Seers and seven uh, Frostmane Snow Striders on Shimmer Ridge. All right, uh, sounds easy enough. And uh, and I know where that's at because we've we've done this a time or two, but uh, we are here to have some fun, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Heading on out. I'm not sure here. Everything looks good. Everything looks good, I think. I think it looks all good. Let me know if uh, it doesn't seem like it's uh, running right. Or dropping frames or something. Okay. Again, we're headed across here, and we'll just there we go. Yeah, a warrior. I I do so love the warrior class. It's a uh, it's a very good class. Shimmer Ridge is right over here. I think the trail up there is just right around the corner here. Again, keeping our eye open for any copper nodes that we might run across. This is, oh, that's right. We have a uh, sharpening stones as well, so we can use those to uh, up our damage with our lightsaber. Oh, I could have hit mortal wound there. There we go. Top of the hill. Hello. That's right, it hits you with the snowball, knocks you down. It just doesn't seem like a very good defense, you know? Throwing snow at you. Uh, just well, Grand Nagus, hello. How are you, sir? I mean, I guess, you know, if it knocks you down, that would be kind of a good defense. So what's going on, Grand Negus? How are you? How's the weather out in your neck of the woods? It was 100 degrees here today. 100 A little warm, yeah. Let's see, so 100 degrees here for you guys. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, 
Fahrenheit. That's uh, 37.7 in Celsius. So I guess that's what you guys use, correct? Uh, you guys use the Celsius over there in your neck of the woods. So yeah, it was a bit warm. I had to work today, so by the time I got out to my car, <laughs> my car was, oh, uh, my car had to be 150. It was, oh my gosh, it was a, And our store ran out of ice today because our ice machine broke at the store, which was great. Not the time for that to happen. Dang it, I, I messed it up. We got all the seers, now we just need the snow striders. That's another seer. this here that just seems like it's am I dropping a bunch of frames yeah it looks like a I'm having some a little bit of internet issues I don't think I've got anything loading in the background. You know that. Around 90 degrees here. That's very high for us. It's like living between bodies of water, North Sea, and Baltic Sea. So normally they can get this hot. But thankfully, humidity is only about 50%. Yeah, we've got a very dry heat here um, in this part of the country. And let me know, guys, if, if I'm dropping a lot of frames, if you would. It seems like my... I don't know if OBS is... If I'm dropping a bunch of frames, or... <laughs> Stream is fine. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, uh, what do we got? Uh, one more Frostmane Snow Strider. There's one right there. Hello, sir. Thank you. He volunteered. All right, so we're done. Done and done. Now we can just zip zap back to uh, Karanos. Wait, is that a... Oh, hold on, hold on. Look who we found. Look who we found. That's right, Great Father Architus. Couldn't find him in the uh, cave, but here he is here. Holy smokes. Just by luck, I managed to turn around to see if he was standing there. And sure enough, there he is. This is just a normal character. Um, you know, I haven't quested in quite a while because Turnwinkle's all caught up. So I kind of wanted to start afresh. Look at what we've got here, guys. Great Father Architus. I, I thought we weren't going to be able to find him, and here he is. Oh, this is going to be close. That was close. Okay. <laughs> we got to get out of here. <laughs> Maybe fight this guy real quick and get some... Uh, thank you! Oh, maybe that was a mistake. Oh, come on. Bam. Heal up. Heal up. There we go. There. Yep. Yep. Ah! Oh, we may not survive it. Come on. Get him. 
Nope. Kill. Kill it. Give me you. Ah. Kill up. Victory rush. Give me the. Give me. Give it. Give me. Give it. Oh. Woo. Oh, a lesser healing potion. Thank you very much. I will take that right now. Boop. Woo. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well. <laughs> there we go. Again, so we're able to get uh, Great Father Architus now, which is great. So we got uh, Gibble Wilts. Oh, for the love of Pete's. Madam, I was leaving. I was leaving. You didn't have to attack me. That is what you get. Try it again. But uh, we got Gibble Wilts. We got Timber, the the, uh, the giant wolf. And we got Great Father Architus, which is great. So... Uh, we're doing well. All right, let's. Uh, we might as well sell. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Let me uh, browse your goods here. I'll sell that. Uh, the stringy wolf meat. I'll hang on to this, and that, and that. Don't know what we're going to do with that. Oh, that's right. We also had a giant um, trog right in front of the uh, cave, Frostmoan Hold Cave. And um, let's do this. And he was a, uh, he was an elite, for whatever reason, so, yeah. Alright, so we're done with this quest. Should be able to focus on our efforts on the rest of the trolls to the east, but there's still the matter of the Wendigos in the Grizzled Den. Okay, now, I know there's a guy that has us going back up to, yeah, back up to Shimmer Ridge, and it's this guy here, uh, Regold uh, Barley Brew, so let's, How are you? the perfect stout, I'm on a quest to make the perfect stout, I know I can do it, brewing's in my blood, I just need to find the right recipe, Frostman trolls grow a plant, Shimmerweed, up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest, they use it in their strange tribal rituals, we haven't found much use for it, but it has a unique taste, and I want to experiment with it in my brews. Obtaining the Shimmerweave will be dangerous, but I'll pay you well for any you can quote-unquote borrow from the baskets in the Troll Village. So bring seven Shimmerweeds to Rejold Barley Beer. So go get, grab seven of those, and uh, get some new gloves. Off with it. Oh, is he talking in... Yeah, they're talking in uh, Dwarvish. How rude, you know? Standing right there, he's talking in Dwarvish. Alright, so back up to Shimmer Ridge. And uh, some Shimmer Weed. I have to think, uh, out of all the starting zones, I do prefer uh, Dunmoreau. I, I really like Dunmoreau. Yeah, Elwyn Force is pretty nice. Uh, the uh, Teldrassil is also pretty good, but I think out of those three Alliance starting areas, um, for me, I prefer Dunmoreau. I, I really like it. I like the country that it's in, the uh, country, the setting that it's that it's in. Okay, so let's go grab some shimmery weed from their baskets up here. Not there, so up here. Terrace, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's definitely a, a thematic place. Certainly. Uh, Terrace Fall. Down some more shimmer weed here. Thank you. 
Bop. Bop. Some over there. We can take this guy out here. Hello. Finish him off. Bam. With execute. You know, with BFA, they really brought in some great animations for uh, the warrior. I think it was BFA or, or it may have been Legion even. But uh, really some nice uh, animations. So let's just jump up here. Sheesh. I'm going to eat me some uh, haunched meat here. Now what's nice about Shadowlands up and coming is again being able to start in any of the starting zones or in any of the uh, any of the expansions I believe. I believe that's correct. And so you know I it's, it, it's going to be an interesting way to, to uh, oh, hello sir seriously so I thought. I need a stun. I need a good stun so these spellcasters can't just, you know, attack me willy nilly. When you think about it too, these poor trolls are kicked out of their cave by trogs. You got some maniac gnome who comes running up, stealing their shimmer weed and killing everybody. <laughs> <coughs> poor trolls. Frostbane trolls, they sure got it uh, got it rough. Again, a beautiful, beautiful day here in Dunmoreau. If I was to guess how cold it was here in Dunmoreau right now, I'd say it's probably 30 degrees. It could be pretty cold. Here. Do you have that shimmer weed? I almost have a batch of stout ready to brew, and I want to try throwing in the weed in this mixture. In this mixture, I do right here. Great! Can't wait to use this in some of my recipes. There's one in particular I think it'll work great in. All right, well, gives me the herb stained gauntlets and a level level 14. Yeah, kind of green, green looking gloves. All right, you start in Exile's Reach or your normal race starting area. Reaching level 10, you can go to Chromie and choose an expansion to do as Chromie time leveling. And being done, you should have reached level 50 and off to Shadowland you go. That includes goblins, Pandarian, and Worgans too. They're able to skip their starting zones now, and the Pandarian can and will pre-select their faction along their way. That way. Oh, nice! Uh, wow, that sounds just, again, that sounds really awesome. What can I get for you today? Yeah, well, I want to sell my old gloves. Uh, this, this, and I don't need a shield, so we'll sell the shield off. Um, that's my hammer. Everything else we're good on. Boop. 
Thanks, sir. Watch your back. All right, well, thank you, sir, for helping me out there. Cataclysm has created chaos in Dunmoreau. The Trogs have come into surface in numbers we haven't seen before, driving our traditional em enemies, the Frostmane Trolls, ever closer to our settlements. And Fortress has dispatched my Mountaineer company to help deal with his problems. Periton, good evening. Good evening. All right, so culling the Wendigos. The Wendigos in the grizzled den to the southwest of town have been quite a thorn in our side. They're never quite strong enough to threaten Karanos directly, yet they prey on travelers, mountaineer patrols, and supply convoys. I'm going to be withdrawing my observers from Grizzled Den because I need, I need them on the troll front. Would you help my men finish culling the Wendigo population? Without strength of numbers, they won't be able to attack us. So kill 10 Wendigos. All right, sounds good. So, heading on over to Young Wendigo there. Oh! <laughs> oh, well, great! Holy smokes, well, awesome! So that is one. Good. I, I must have. Uh, <laughs> I must have said uh, since that, uh, Periton. Oh, look, a nice little camp over here. Got some dynamite. <clears throat> what else we got here? A nice little. Oh, some cushions to sit on. Some barrels with some tools here. Nice mug of ale. Ah, there's three. No, some of the win the Wendigo's horns are different. See, this guy's horns are. Kind of off to the side there. No, not the. Didn't mean to click on the board there. And then this guy's horns are uh, straight up and down. All right. So a little horn variety in uh, the. Uh, Adventure looking for that cave for a while before realizing it isn't there anymore. Oh, yes. Yes. And matter of fact, though, oh, for old Icebeard. That's right. Icebeard. wonder if he'd be in the Grizzled Den because we just found uh, Great Father um, Architus up in the, uh, the Shimmer uh, Shimmerweed. Ridge, we found him up there. He's up in that troll troll camp up there. So he is up there. He was not in that cave in the Frostmourne cave. Or Frost Hold. Hold. What is it Frostmourne? No, I don't think it's Frostmourne. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's how this is sorry. It is. Let's take a look at the map. Frost Main hold. Frost Main. Yeah, Frostmourne hold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Frost Main. Frost Main hold, not Frostmourne hold. That's a different different uh, place entirely. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, 
yeah, Great Father Archytas is um, in Shimmer Ridge. Shimmer Weed Ridge now. So, unless you, you can find them in both spots, I don't know. All right, but that's uh, 10 Wendigos there. Or Yeti, as they're known. 10 Yeti. All right, sir, killed 10 of them. Oh, wrong thing. Now that you've dealt with the Wendigos, you should be able to focus our efforts on the Frost main trolls to the east. Indeed. Yeah, John is going all out Lich King vibe now. Glowing blue sword. I wonder how far it will take him down the dark path of corruption. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. definitely, yeah. Because look, at, I, I love the lightsaber. It's, it's awesome. Okay, forced to watch from afar. The cataclysm drove the trogs to surface in hordes, forcing the frost main trolls to flee for their lives. Unfortunately, they've decided to settle right on our doorstep and make trouble for us. I've deployed Mountaineer uh, Dunstan and his squad to the grizzled den just southwest of town to keep an eye on the Wendigos that live there, but now I need to recall them to Karanos. Find them and tell them to deploy those remote observation bots the gnomes provided. Then return to Karanos. Okay, so we got to go tell those guys their job is done. No substitute for live observers, but I need those mountaineers here. I'll have to rely on those rely on those little gnomish observation observer bots for now. Who's this guy over here? Salutations. Here? Just a covert operative. Okay. So to the Grizzled Den we go, and we'll see if that um, rare is inside there. Grand Nagus, hey, thank you very much for popping in, sir. I really appreciate it. It's always good speaking with you. Oh, hello. Uh, dream of dream of the dark lady, sir. Dream of the dark lady. May she watch over you while you sleep. Oh, got another one on us. Ah. Oh, do I have three? Did I not finish that one? Nope. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I will and she will. <laughs> All right. Well. A lot of Wendigos all of a sudden. Holy smokes. Oh, is that uh, foreshadowing? I tell you. Foreshadowing. Sentra, <gasps> thank you so much. 17 months. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. 17 months. Thank you so much, Sentra. Oh, good afternoon to you as well. Yep. Fight our way down to these guys. Hello. Man, these guys hit like trucks. I'm going to have to eat another uh, haunch of meat. I'd like to think of this as uh, Turwinkle's older brother, Trandis. Kind of took a different path, uh, you know, 